Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Dying Light 2 Stay Human Reloaded Edition on the Xbox Series X. A lot has changed in this game, so let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data it is. And that's 56.7 GB. The game's not on Game Pass. And it's normally like 70 euros, but on sale, I think it was like 35 or something. Yeah. Um, keep in mind that if you're going to play this, get these packs. These are completely 100, except for this one. These three packs, there are seven in total, are completely free and you really want them. Because this gives you something really cool in the game. Guns. Yes, we're finally getting guns. The game is fully optimized for new gen consoles. It's way better optimized than it first was. So let's just dive in. You guys, if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it means a lot for me you really helping out the channel you can also hit the bell icon i upload almost on a daily basis new games old games updates on games sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there so dying light 2 this is the version i wanted to have when the game first came out this this is that version so the game's out now for what two years or so one and a half two years and it's finally done it it really has the cyberpunk 2077 feel this update so they optimized it a lot um there are three graphical modes this is how i am playing it on normal there are like all kinds of filters you can put on gritty and stuff you have balanced resolution performance and um, i'm gonna play on balanced because you will know in a few seconds um chromatic aberration off film grain off motion blur off glow yeah on no problem with that uh light streaks lens flares no problem there's also a field of few nah let's go start it up so I'm playing it on balance mode. The reason for that is because it's literally the, the best balance in terms of graphics. There are three modes. Quality mode gives you a perfect 4K 30 FPS, pretty stable. There's the balance mode that gives you a dynamic 4K. Most of the time it runs at around 1440p with some FSR techniques upwards to 4K. And that's what I'm playing on right now. There's also a really cool extra mode and that's the performance mode and that gives you upwards to 120 FPS in this game. I did a frame rate test so here you have all three the graphical modes performance 120 balanced 60 quality 30. Keep in mind it will not be a stable 120 fps there will be instances it can go as low as like 90 fps especially if you're inside or in closed ranged areas it will keep a pretty stable uh, 120 fps the other modes balanced and quality all are like perfectly fine 60 fps 30 fps i couldn't find any strange things going on here so oh You're a better yeah climber than one crazy girl i used to know big 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 uh, big something. big update even wanted to climb the top um, there's no mouse and keyboard support that should be something that could wife. be cool Almost if they would have added this um even for my what about this pattern? one time so you brought me here to in the future the PK, are you but it makes the game so much better huh? I got it. There's a creature uh, I haven't seen but what does it look like let's go And the cool thing, we now have guns, yes. Guns in the game. Mm. 
I thought that was one of the things I really missed. wasn't paying attention at what I needed to do. That was dumb. We go again on my own. better in terms of graphics right now. You know, at first it looked really gritty and really and not that sharp. It was just uh, like it was the, the graphics looked like they, they were completely buttered up. And I think they finally found a perfect balance for this game. I wasn't a fan when it came out. Right now I've been playing it for hours upon hours already. To be silent. These graphics are so much better. So glad that they finally added weapons in this game, like real weapons, and not only melee weapons. I think that was a big step down from the first game. I think they really missed the mark there. I'm 
Which UAV is Shrews? This is such a big step up. I'm actually curious if we can get through to here. This is hard. Flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. I think I was really lucky there. Here we go. <laughs> then it's better to have weapons. But yeah, you guys, this is Dying Light 2 on the Xbox Series X. Three modes, 120, 60, and 30 FPS. If you want to play it, how you can, yeah, make it happen. So 120 hertz is like um, 1440p dynamic. Then we have a balance mode, 1440p, upwards to 4K. So a dynamic 4K at 60 FPS and a stable 4K resolution at 30 FPS. That's what we're having here right now with the new Reloaded Edition. Go check it out. It's a free update for if you already own the game. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Bye.